already I hear people in shock. Does this really happen? Are these cases and stories really true? Did a judge really point a gun at you in the courtroom and threaten to kill you? Were you, were you really uh, able to, along with your team, be, establish that a person who was charged with killing his wife after stabbing her for 46 times and allegedly raping her was innocent because someone planted his DNA in the vaginal canal of the victim. Did that really happen or did you make it up? My name is Richard Jaffe, and I am a partner in the Birmingham, Alabama law firm of Jaffe, Hanley, Wizenot, and Knight, and the author of Quest for Justice, Defending the Dam, second edition, published by NACDL in 2020. When I wrote it, it was before George Floyd. It was before COVID. It was before what now a spotlight is, is shining on, which is the deep flaws in the criminal justice system that include racism and, and um, many of the abuses of prosecutors that now people are paying attention to. If someone from the public comes away with anything of value, it would be that people are actually presumed guilty and really experienced practitioners have to understand that they have a responsibility to explain through jury selection and throughout the trial why and how people are presumed innocent and how to put the government to its proof. The public needs to know that perjury in the courts is not the exception, it's the rule. People need to understand that racism permeates every facet of the criminal justice system, every facet, and that Implicit bias, bias that people don't even know they have, exists to the point where it seriously compromised the integrity of the criminal justice system. And that's a lesson for both the readers and for the practitioners. What I'd like a practitioner, especially a young one, to take from this is that criminal defense is a calling and that if you have true compassion and if you really believe in humanity that we can offer the doses of compassion that the criminal justice system currently lacks and we can make a difference not only saving one life at a time but also systemically to change the system and make it better.